This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to use the flight simulator in Google Earth. I've put a link to Google Earth in the show notes. Now, if you're familiar with Google Earth, you know that it can show you a lot of things. The Earth, the Moon, Mars, the stars. Many people don't realize there's also a flight simulator built right in, and you can fly around the world with it. So we'll click here on Tools, Enter Flight Simulator, now you see you have your choice of aircraft. You can get an F-16, which is a very powerful fighter jet, or an SR-22, which is a high-performance prop plane. You can start from your current position or from an airport. So let's start from London Heathrow. If you have a joystick, there's joystick support, so you can fly with that. Otherwise, you use your mouse and keyboard controls. Now in this tutorial, we only have time to show you some basic things. I've included a link in the show notes that shows you all of the keyboard commands for controlling the plane. So if we're ready, we'll click Start Flight. And here we are on the runway at London Heathrow. Now to start up, you have to give it some speed. Here in the heads up display on the left is your speed. Here's your altitude over here on the right. You can turn off the heads up display with the H. The landing gear is controlled with the G. And to Increase the speed, you want to hit page up. On a Mac, it's function up arrow. So you see over there on the left, our speed starting to increase. To get going a little faster in order to take off. And we're going about 180. Now to go up, you press the down arrow because you're trying to raise the nose. And I know that's sometimes a little counterintuitive. So we're going about 350 miles an hour. We're close to zero and we're above London. Now to go down, you press the up arrow. To go up, you press the down arrow. To go to the left, left arrow, right, right arrow. You can center the rudder with the C key. So here we are over London. Now I'm going to do something on purpose. We're going to crash. If you crash, it tells you you've crashed and you can click resume flight and you're right back where you were. So it's fun. There's lots of commands so that you can completely control the airplane. And this is using the flight simulator in Google Earth and that's all there is to it.